Hi, welcome to this video about uh, a cool part of workshop software, which is mechanic clocking on and clocking off. Now, we can do mechanic clocking on and clocking off via various means. So we can use the phone app, we could manually enter it in on the invoice, but there is also now this cool way of doing it, which is under employees and under mechanic clock on. And in here, you can clock on and clock off your mechanics. Now, before I go there, I just want to show you a couple of things inside the mechanics themselves. So we're going to come back to this, but first up, let's go into mechanics, right? And I'm going to choose John Smith. You'll notice that there is this mechanic code. Now, this code could be an employee number, it could be a numbers, it could be letters, it could be the guy's name, it could be whatever. I've put in JS for John Smith, but you can make that whatever you like. But the reason why that is there is if we then go into reports and into business reports, what we'll actually see is under mechanic reports, there is this new mechanic barcode list. And if I print that, what it does is it prints a barcode for each mechanic, right? So here's John Smith's barcode, this particular one here. And I can use that to actually clock on and clock. I can use a barcode reader to clock on and clock off the jobs. So let's go back now into the clocking on and clocking off. So that was what we saw there was under mechanics. I'm now going to go into the mechanic clock on. So this is something that the mechanics could use all day, every day, right? So I go and I'm going to type in, or I could be using a barcode reader here. So I could scan the job card and it would have found the job card. I could scan the mechanic if I had a barcode reader and it would find the mechanic, right? And in this instance, this particular job has got more than one label line. It's got two here. Now it could be have three, four, five, whatever. Um, if it didn't have more than one label line, this option wouldn't come up. John would now be clocked on to the job if it only had one label line. If there's more than one label line, it will ask you which label line do you want to clock on to. So let's clock on to the service, all right? So John's now gone and clocked on to that service, right? Now, let's pretend now he goes off and does that work. An hour later, he comes back and he's gonna go and clock off. So he could scan this again with a barcode reader, scan his code again with a barcode reader, probably the easiest way. I'm doing it by via keyboard here, so you can use the keyboard, no problem, but, and I'm gonna choose the minor service again, and it says John Smith has clocked off job number 51329, right? So what I can do now is if I pull up the actual job number and look at the job card itself, what we can see if we scroll down to the, break, to, to the service and have a look at the mechanic times, what you'll see here is that John Smith clocked on at 10.17, clocked off at 10.17, like in reality, in, in real life, that might have been 11.15 or 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, whatever. Um, so that's the way that you can clock on and clock off mechanics. So it's just an easy way. As I said earlier on, you can still use the phone app. You could come in here and manually enter it in here. In fairness, this is really more designed for an admin person to be to be putting in the, the labor times manually in here. Uh, but this mechanic clock on just makes it a whole lot more easier, quicker, and is designed. This screen could be open in your workshop. Uh, just have mechanics come up here, scan, you know, or use the keyboard, clock on, clock off, really, really straightforward, really easy.